Hello my friends, how's it going guys? How's it going? We're playing a game today, Conan Exiles, we're giving it a bash. I'm here in my little mud hut that I've made and I'm on a Kabul server now. We're playing a modded version of this game, so this is the, the release of the game plus, well, a few other bits. I've made my little abode here, I've got started in the game and I've, well, I've had a little bit of a bash to get started. Just because I didn't want to show you me pretty much naked running around an empty desert for about half an hour looking for stuff to do. So the question is, what are we going to do with this stream? Well, the plan is to build this up into something slightly more than a mud hut and basically just have a chill out and have a little bit of fun. So hopefully you guys can ask some questions about the game along the way if you've not got it already or maybe you can teach me about the game if you do have it already and give me some of them sneaky little bits of info. But for now, I'm more than happy just sort of plundering my way and making a mess of things, trying to get enough stuff to build something awesome. Now, I believe actually what I should be looking for are regular rocks, because regular rocks I need to create a blacksmith bench, I want to say. And of course, I break my pick just as the stream starts. So you basically got a lot of different items you can craft. You can go over to attributes to level up your character, make them more awesome feats to find more stuff to research. Lots and lots of stuff to do. Let's make us another... We're going to make another two picks because I keep breaking them. And while we're here, I think we'll cut a tree down. Got to be a little bit careful because we've got some angry little cats nearby as well. And when I say little, I mean ginormous. And when I say angry, I mean they really, really want to bite my bum. So good. Oh, that sounds like one of them. Where is he? I can hear him. Where are you? Is he up there? Oh, there he is. Hello there, good sir. Meow. <laughs> Oh, he's not coming down, is he? He's not going the long way around. Back! I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. No. Okay. But I am getting lots of rocks. Now, there is more to this game. I can repair my pick, but that's good to know. That's good to know. I've never actually tried repairing an item. I just throw it away because this is 2018 and generally building stuff is cheaper than repairing it. That is what that is what my world has come to in real life. And that is how I am playing my game. Mm. Right, how many stones do we have? Let's have a look. Obviously, we've got two in our trousers and we've got ugh, 183 here. Now, what we need is a blacksmith bench which is, yeah, not a double bed. Although that would be nice too. We need loads of bricks and we need loads of iron bars. Okay, bricks and iron bars. I think I've got enough to make quite a few bricks. I'll get a, just a few more rocks. You can never have too many rocks. And let's chop a tree down while we're here. Because we'll probably need some wood to combine with the ore to put into the smelting pit, which is otherwise known as a forge, and turn that into something glorious. Right, let's eat some food. We've also got hunger, we've got thirst, we've got weight, and we've got temperature in the top left. So that's all stuff to do as well. So this is all the stuff in my forge. We'll click play here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put stone into the forge. So I think we put stone somewhere here. Ah, crafting queue, there we go. So why... Ah, currently no fuel. So we put wood into the forge. Put wood into the fuel. One of that, two of that, three of that, play. Is my mouse button stuck again? Now, what I need to figure out is what I'm doing wrong here. <sighs> Sadly, I skipped the tutorial. Mm -mm -mm. You could do it, you could, but let's face it, let's face it, that would uh, that would be a dick move. That would be a dick move. So we're going to put stuff here. Ah, here's where you click the button. Here's where you click the button indeed. So you can click play, and basically I'm going to start making some bricks. Oh, very exciting. Brick, brick, brick. Very, very crafty. So we've got a bunch of bricks and we need, let's have a little bit of a look, I think we need some iron too. So that, we can just leave that to its own devices, that's now doing its thing. Now what else do we need to make? We've got loads of different crap we could be making right now. Put the stuff in the middle, thank you Dewey, thank you, I'm a little bit slow. So we've got our bricks, we've got our iron bars coming, great. I've got crap all in the way of weapons. I've got bugger all in the way of um, stuff to eat. So maybe we can go get some food together. That's probably a good idea. Medium chest padding, leather. I don't have much stuff to actually make decent armor at the moment. That's something I should probably invest in. While we're here though, I'm gonna get a little bit more wood and finish off my mud hut because I'd like to feel a little bit safer than that. I think a roof at the very least is required. 
So let's go ahead and build a roof. So what we need for roof is bricks and trees. I say trees, bricks and wood. The two important things to build a house. Pretty good swinging arm, as you can see. Thankfully, no full damage from the tree landing on my face. Always good. And you don't need as much wood as you do rock. Oh, it's good. don't worry, the screen's going white because I've run out of stamina. Basically, I've been doing too much. The little yellow bar in the top left is kind of how much you can do um, in terms of combat, in terms of mining, in terms of probably pillaging or whatever else you might do as a barbarian. But you can upgrade it via leveling your attributes. You do get experience for all of this stuff. Rest assured, there will be some combat and fighting coming up soon. It will be embarrassing to watch. I'm still very, very much learning like the ropes of this game. Right. Now, that is, should be enough to create another wall or two and make our abode look a little bit more interesting. Anyone not got this game, by the way, want to ask some questions, you fire away, my friends, if you're not sure about it. I'm having some fun. Likewise, if you would like the server information, you let me know, OK? Because it's nice to have some more folk in here. I think we've got about five or ten now. We obviously don't need any more door frames. Um, stairs, maybe stairs up to the front door would be nice. We'll make some of those. A ramp door. Let's go for a wall. No, we've got enough walls. Where is the goddamn roof? Roof, 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 sandstone steel ceiling. Right, we're going to make three ceilings and we've got some stairs. Right. Haha, -ha, now we have stairs. We have conquered. So now when I run out of stamina sprinting to my house, I can still get up. Now we press seven and here's where the building of the game comes in. And I have to say hats off to the builders, to the uh, developers, because the actual building side of this is mighty fun mighty mighty fun now this this is not where the base will stop but i am going to make this into a multiple tiered building so what we need or what we're going to need is some way of going up there aka more stairs and this is where things start to get a little bit messy and it becomes apparent that i have absolutely no idea what i'm doing let's create some more walls let's just make a big old mess number six now you can defend this these areas too Ugh, that's just not looking good is it here we go stairs up this way right and now we can start building around here so how are we going to build this i don't know this this just already looks a complete disastrous mess it's so unorganized uh, i think here this looks good yeah my throat feels dry that normally indicates one is thirsty so that shall be next on the agenda it's 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 not beautiful but it's beautiful to me that's all i have to say it's beautiful to me. So let's go for a little walk and investigate. We've got some random crap here, but it really is just random crap. We need some Vassar, which I think we'll just go straight ahead for. We could go to the beach. Mm. Beach or that way. We're basically smack in the middle here. I think we'll go down to the beach on the coast. But I'm going to go down this way. Fortunately, it will save uh, your, your bed roll, and when you die, you will respawn in your bed. So it's a little bit less punishing... Hello. Oh, bye, kitty cat. Now, I could spend the next half hour trying to kill that thing. Uh, right now, I, I need some better weapons, some better items, because I suck. I probably could kill it, or rather, I have killed two of them thus far. Now, oh, dear Lord. Wrong button. Space bar is to hold on. Remember that, Hydra. Space bar. There we go. Control, shift, space bar. And shift, space bar. There we go. Learning the controls. Learning the controls. Ha. Makes you a little bit nervous when this happens. I've died from this too many times. And every single time I drop down that last little bit, I lose some more health. How is it going, Akos, my friend? Nice to see you. Oh. Looks like... Let's bring out this. While we're here, we'll just gather a little bit of stone. Just a little bit. Because you can never have enough stone. That's what I've learned anyway. Now, what I do need is Vassar. So I'll have a little drink. All you do to have a drink is you walk in the water and you press E. Yeah. There we go. And now I'm full of water. Sadly, no animation. No animation at all. The wreckage of Wagtail. Okay, now maybe we'll find some stuff here. Some booty. There are dangerous NPCs ahoy as well. So that's something to be... Ah, uh, oh, there's a crocodile. 
see ya. Can't kill that either. I am too shitty for that. Martyr still so far. Ah, my friend, news on the Martyr front. I'll do an official announcement soon, but uh, I'm going to Neocore in a week and a half. And I will be playing, not on the beta when it comes out in a week and a half, I'll be playing on the final version. They're doing a press release for the press, basically. Um, I'm, I don't class myself as being press. However, they've chosen to invite me, which is nice. Oh, let's, uh, let's cross over here, because th there's just one too many alligators there. Getting a little bit hungry, too. I was kind of hoping these shipwrecks would have stuff and things for me to pillage, but thus far I've been nothing but disappointed. Hmm, indeed, Yakub, how are you doing, my friend? Yes, going to Budapest. I'm going to Neocore Studios, so I'm actually going to hang out with the developers. Lalandra, how are you? How are you? How are you? Not long to go till your holiday, either. Going to Japan. And, yes, all very exciting. So I get to meet the developers, firstly. Or I get to meet more of the developers, because I've met a few in person thus far at Warhammer Fest. And what else, what else, what else? I get to play the final version of the game and get to have a beer with them. So that sounds good. That sounds good to me. I am... Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This strikes me as the sort of game that you'd like, Lilandra. I know you like a little bit of survival. I'm, at the moment, really enjoying the lone survival vibe. Just because there's so much to explore in this game. If you get people giving you stuff and helping you out, it can, it can bypass the most enjoyable moments of a game like this, in my view. In my view. It is definitely fun grouping up with people and doing sort of raids and... Oh, I thought that was a chest. God damn it. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah okay, we'll climb over that. That was, wasn't awkward at all. Nope, bad idea. Um, we seem to be lacking some food as well. Food, food, food. Now, where is a man going to find food? You wouldn't think it would be that difficult. In some of the other areas, you'll find berry bushes are plenty. Right. Jungle over there. That may be more productive. And it looks like we're going on a fair bit of an adventure now, so we might as well carry on. Ah, oh, you've played Ark a fair bit. Fair enough. Ark, I think, looks like it probably scratches the same itch that this does. Uh, I'll go on then. We'll just go, go across here. Kill the crocodile to get food. Well, the logic makes sense. However, I don't have a lot of health. Come on. I'm going to wait for him to dodge and miss me. Haha. -ha. Right. As you can see, this may take a while. But we will engage him in the dance. The dance of life. Or death. So far, I found this to be the most effective way, because I'm pretty much guaranteed to live. However, there probably are, and I do have... Oh, great, I can't kill two of them at once. You fiends! Why can't you just kill each other and leave me be? Ooh, iron. You can tell by the different colour of the rock, this is iron. Now, if I had a bow and arrow, I could probably have a good shoot at him. However, I don't. And making arrows in this game, uh, let's just say it's not particularly easy to do. Right, here we go. Oh, it's on. It's on. Ha ha! Miss me, you fiend. I actually... Ah, I can... So I can double swing him. Oh, out of stamina. That's not good. I need that to live. Come on, swipe at me. Could I do a triple swing in there? That's the question. Okay. I'm getting very, very hungry, apparently, from killing this. Okay, I can't really afford to be hit much more. However... I really don't want to die here. Back, you evil beast. Oh, nice damage. Rawr, back at you. I need to kill him before the night comes to kill us all. The White Walkers are coming. There's nothing that really bad happens at night. I mean, certain enemies appear. Excuse me. Oh, please tell me you're not bugged. Ha ha. 
Right, now I've done that, I can use an axe. And there we go, we've got some bones and we can use that to make arrows. But what we need to do while we're here is create a torch because it's pretty dark. And we also need to create a fire. Right, one torch. I've gained a level from making the torch as well, fantastic. And seven, we shall make a fireplace here. Building is not allowed. There is no campfire allowed on this beach. What the hell? Invalid building placement. Why can't I light a fire on a beach? Whose beach is this that does not allow fire? Building is not allowed? Why? I only want to make food. Ah, and someone else's fire. Now, what are the chances of them being friendly? Not particularly high, I tell you. Right, seven, six, seven. Why cannot I place that there? <laughs> what is this? Well, if I eat the food, the problem is, is I will die from food poisoning. And that's going to be a problem. I do not want to die from food poisoning. Right, maybe if I just jump over here to the other side. Not enough contact with the ground. No shit, I'm swimming. Why? Why can I not place this on a beach? If of all places you're going to light a fire, a beach is surely the safest place you could build one. If all goes to pot... Why is it determined to kill me? Fuck you, game. Oh. Oh, you think you're clever. Oh, you think you're clever. Is that a rabbit? Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay. Well, maybe we can just eat the rabbit. We got feral flesh. Great. But we can't light a fire to, bur to eat it. Is there a rock I can place this on? Why cannot I place this here? Urgh. It's actually... I'm going to die in a moment. I've got food poisoning too. I didn't even remember eating anything. Rip. Now you'll see my health slowly going down. Unfortunately because... i tell you what I could do is I could actually put a bedroll here. It might be an idea because I'm almost guaranteed to die in a moment. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to build a bedroll. That way, when I die, I at least respawn here. Is it a bit cheap? I guess so. Why can I not build a fire? Don't know. Presuming the game still just has several kinks to iron out. Right, now where can I go that may be appropriate? Buccaneer Bay doesn't really sound particularly welcoming. Uh, let's look for a place to go... Aha! Just while we're here. Excuse me, dear sir. No! Come back. Oh, this could go wrong. Ah, there we go. It's so cruel, isn't it? It's so cruel, but I did get bones. I did get bones, and I need bones for making arrows. So don't look at me as if I'm a bad person. Right, now this is grassland? No. No, there shall be no building in the game that advertises that you should build to stay alive. Are you friendly, sir? Are you friendly? I don't trust him at all. I'm gonna go. Did you see that? Are you friendly? Probably not. No, definitely not. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Now I've got food poisoning and I'm trying to run away. Go away! For fuck's sake. What, Chapman, why can I not build a fire on a beach? What is wrong with this? I'm actually going to die in a moment as well. And I've got dramatic music playing at the moment because I'm being chased. Okay, no more dramatic music. That is something. But I am starving. Which means I'm going to put a... Ah, of course I can't build a fucking bedroll here, can I? Of course. Can't build anything on the beach. Yes. That was fun, wasn't it? That was fun. Resume. So now I have to go all the way back to my body just to try and ascertain exactly what the fuck happened there. Okay, well, now I'm aware that there are zones where you can't build anything. Now we know. Now we know. 
pretty fucking dumb, if you ask me, in a game that advertises itself as building to stay alive. But at least I'm aware now. And mental note, uh, get more food. Get more food and water. Nice booty, indeed. Do you, how do you like my shredded back, Charlie? It's actually unripped. My my muscles have muscles. You can even see, like, oh, no, there you go. Look at that. What does that do for you? Oh, oh I've got, nearly forgot the button. Nearly forgot the button. Okay, just make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah. Oh, oh. Every single time I jump, I have to pause and think to myself, oh, crap, I can't remember the button. Hello. Are you friendly? Probably not. Nope, definitely not. If in if you're curious if something is oh shit friendly or not, the chances are it's not, because nothing is friendly in this game. Nothing wants to be your friend. At all. Even the plants want to kill you. Oh, grab it, grab Oh my word. Just had a heart attack. Okay. It, the water wants to kill you, the food wants to kill you. Um, right, and it's down this... Oh, great. Can I... Maybe I can kill him. Uh, no. I don't think that's going to be happening. I'll come back for you, sir. I will... Oh, okay. Oh, no health as well. Right, okay. So what we're going to have to do is go somewhere else where I can build. Get some food so I can actually get health back. Uh, right, and swimming this way, I think, would actually be more efficient. This place looks interesting, though. We'll have to come back here when we're slightly better equipped. Do some murdering. Right, on my way to get to my corpse. S sneaking underneath them. Don't mind me, I'm just a fish. Just swimming along. Don't mind me. No, he's not seen me. I mean, yeah, sort of, that looks nice. That looks bad. That looks nice. That looks bad. Nice bad. Nice bad. It, it, oh, need to spend my levels as well. Pro tip: to get a third perk from the try to get the third perk from the vitality tree. That sounds like a good tip. I don't know what it does. I'm going to go onto land before I look at what that is. I just don't trust myself staying in water for too long. So that's what we're going to do. Right, and let's have a little look. So I am going to spec into archery. That's the plan, anyway. We're nearly here to the next one, which will give us crippling shots with a bow and more severe. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but that's now a thing. Uh, now, you don't have to cook meat with this first one, so that is kind of handy. Oh, God. Be gone, Thot. What? Oh, God. She's... Flo <laughs> I like your peg leg, though. I'm not even joking. Can I have one? Oh, I'm going to come back and kill her. Bring her with me and break her. Bend her to my will. She will become my... While we're here, do you reckon she's called Eileen? Do you get it? Eileen? She wouldn't leg? See ya. Oh, Eileen's got a friend. Anyway. Puns another time. Puns another time. Now, body is around here somewhere. And space. Nope, not space. Fucking idiot. F, there we go. Now. We'll do this, we'll do this. We'll do that. We'll get the stone. Get one of those. We've got a sword. Still got a sword. Got a hatchet too. And that's everything we've got. Now, should we go kill her? Come here, beast. Come on. Oh, ow, 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 fuck it. Sorry. I screwed up. Okay, let's get, let's go out of here. I failed too hard. I'm going to go make some arrows come back and shoot her in the knee. How about that? She'll be <laughs> stick in the mud. Indeed. Indeed. Right. Stay away from those things because they are nasty. Oh, that looks like a nest with eggs in it. I could do with eggs. Seeing as I have no health. Do we still have that lovely fire? Yes, we've got two campfires as well. And we still can't build here. What sort of... 
douchebaggery as this, when a man can't build. So how do I know... Right, oh great, now I can build. Okay, so what we can do is we can go up to our fire, we can put some logs in said fire, and we can put our meat into the fire. Not that type of meat, though, because that would be bad. Now, we can also put our bedroll just down here for a bit while we go on adventures. And press E, and we can interact. We'll go back to the other bed up here, which I've now lost soon. It's got somewhere around there, that's all I remember. But for now, we need to go kill Eileen. For for too long has she roamed these waters, the pirate of Eileen. Someone shall put an end to her, and that someone shall be me. But I need a little bit more food in order to do that. And food shall grant me health, thankfully. All you've got to do is eat meat to get more healthy. That is what this game is teaching me. Now, accuracy. What we need to do while we're here, glad I remembered that, is make a bow. We need to make some twine for said bow. Where is twine? Twine down the bottom. Okay, we'll make ten twine. Then once we've made the bow, we can start making some of these. We can create, mm, not loads of these, but a few. We've got some arrows coming out, so we've got some bone arrows. They're not particularly good, but they'll have to do. Right, yeah, and we've already run out of bones. But we've got 20 of these, which is better than nothing. So bow, 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 bow. Where did my bow go? Okay, craft one of these. And back to here, let's eat some meat. Put the meat down there, put that up there, and there we go. Oh, we'll leave the axe there, we don't really need the hatchet. And we'll take the logs back. And that, my friends, is kind of one of the fun things about this game. Let's be honest, it's always, it's always enjoyable doing a survival game. Just doing survival games full stop, I love them. I think they're great fun. Uh, provided they're punishing, but not too much. That's There's such a sweet spot between being too punishing and not being too punishing. Right, no ammo. So I appear to have to manually load it. Okay, appears we have a range issue. Come on, be gone, beast. Right. We shall strafe. We shall dance the dance of... Oh, good lord, can I not run while... So I have to sprint to get, get any ground on him. Haha! -ha! Now you are mine. So, by the time I kill him, I have a feeling I'll have run out of arrows. Almost definitely run out of arrows. Right, now the question is, can I pick up old arrows? Because I see some here. Hmm. Do I get my old arrows when I kill him again? That's the real question. I do get his eggs, though. I'm guessing it's not a him. It's her. <laughs> Probably not a him, actually, if I've got his eggs. Right. Come on, swipe. Get wrecked, nerd. I think that actually stunlocks them, so I probably don't need to be prancing around like a little pony, but... Okay, so yeah, I think I'm probably being a little bit too cautious with that. I could, I could probably go crazy and just, just kill them. Mm -mm -mm. The ones that hit are gone. So basically, you spend ages making arrows, they don't last very long, and they do bugger all damage. That's pretty much the impression I've got from bows in this game. They are pretty goddamn bad. Okay, but we do have eggs, and raw eggs are a-okay for getting health back. So, what we're going to do while we're here with eight meat and various other bits is we're going to murder a few other people, and maybe see if we can get some gear upgrades off of them. That's my plan, anyway. We're going to start with Eileen, because she's trouble. Right, and we're going to get a bow. We're going to equip the bow. Now, what else do, can we equip ourselves with to take down the infamous Eileen? We can make a brick wall. That may help. <laughs> um, not much of any use, it has to be said. I've still got crappy stone weaponry. 
I have not upgraded particularly well. We've got an improvised torch, a repair hammer. Repair hammer would probably be useful. Haven't even got a helmet. Who needs one though, eh? Right. Now. That'll probably do it. Nope. Nope, never mind. Okay. Need to go closer. I don't really want to pull both of them. Two of them could be trouble. God damn you. Slippery Eileen. Ha ha. Come on. Be gone, Zot. Oh, ouch. You should be quicker, Hydra. Swing. Okay, I, I need to... Uh... Oh, God. I need to get better at this fast. Let's get some food in my belly. Come on. Swing at me. Oh, the knockdown, the stuns. Oh, ow. She gets up quick. I like the combat, I have to say. It's, um... Come on. Come on. Swing. Swing. It's a little repetitive, but it's not bad. Okay. Now what we can do while we're here, and I don't do this at home, please, is you can take all of her bits. <laughs> you might as well. And you can turn her hide into something useful, like a, a water skin. I need... How many more hides do I need? How many do I have? I have four hides. So if I get one more human, I have a man flesh handbag. Not really something I would recommend. How's it going, Horus? How's it going, my friend? Apparently you can't say the word dildo because it, Nightbot doesn't like it. Come on. I need this rabbit meat. There we go. What I really need... Where'd that other man go? He was here a moment ago. I had no idea there were such simple creatures to kill. I've been here trying to kill, like, lions and tigers and giant gorillas. Excuse me, I think you're out of your depth there, rabbit. There we go. Right, now we've got a hide. We can make ourselves a water skin. So the water skin basically holds water. Not much more to say there, but you get five swigs out of it. It's pretty nice to have, pretty handy. Pretty damn useful when you don't want to just, you know, get thirsty and die. Which does happen quite a lot to me. Uh, the thirst mounts up and it becomes a little too much. So we'll pop that there. Can have a little bit of more meat. Get a little bit of life back. And we might as well go here and drink out of this. There's no point going anywhere else to drink. Now overall this has been fairly successful. But I want to kill that other man before I go. So I reckon he's probably got some better booty for me. Or maybe we can just try and kill all of them here. Right, let's just have a quick check on the tributes over here. Survival, I can nearly... There you go. Now I can eat raw meat. Pretty damn useful, if you ask me. Now, what do we got here? Sprint drains less stamina. I think that's probably one I'm going to be chasing next. I'm just going to be levelling up a few of the ones a little bit lower down. I could do a little bit of rock farming while I'm here too. Because we do have a base to build. I have to go back and find the base, but... It's mainly about levelling up your character and learning the crafts and learning the, le the ways. Once you've unlocked something, it's not so bad to then work your way up. But obviously if you start off with... If you have no good pick, for example, you'll have to go and start off getting some bad stuff, get some better stuff, then better stuff. And if you lose everything, well, you're going to be a bit salty. But you'll get your way up a lot quicker, what I'm trying to say. Now, ah, rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Mental, mental note. Try and kill more rabbits. Honestly, for the first two hours of gameplay within this game, I was trying to kill lions. And that was, in hindsight, a bad idea. A poor life choice by me. Right. Are you... Aha! You may have a better bow than I. Come on. Light attacks, please. Now you can. Oh, God. I was not expecting her to just whop out a sword out of nowhere. Oh, God. I, I need to... Uh, I'd like to survive this, please. I'm just eating loads of food for a second here. Mm. 
I'm gonna wait for my health to regenerate a little bit. Come on, arrows. Come on, fight me, I dare you. Okay, helps if you have some accuracy. <laughs> I'm getting murdered by her, I'm actually getting murdered. This is shocking. I'm gonna go and cook some meat and I will come back for her. As you can tell, I'm still learning the ways of combat in this. Fill my, oh, my water bag is not even full of water. Rip a Reno. Why didn't, I thought it filled automatically when you were in water. Hmm, there we go. Now it is full of water. Ah, yes, I can eat raw meat, can't I? That's a good idea. Right, so we're gonna eat, Oh, I think we're actually gonna have to eat all of this rabbit in order to get my health back. While we're doing that, then, we might as well do some mining. Might as well do something. I'm not really specced into... Um, I'm not really specced into melee combat. However, that's no excuse for why I'm dying. That is because I am bad. I'm doing pretty well, thank you, Horus. I'm doing pretty well. Saving... I am hopefully going to bop a few damsels on the head and take them to my base to become my... My love slaves, but right now I'm having a little bit of a hard time. I'm, I'm getting a bit more beaten up by them, by... Yeah, I'm basically bad and I should feel bad. Right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're slowly getting our health up thanks to this rabbit meat. While we're doing that, though, we might as well do some mining. We never have too many rocks. Okay. And we can probably make another one. There we go. Now, do we have anything else? A stone club I'm quite tempted to use. I'm not entirely sure what you use a stone club for. But I feel like it would be an upgrade from what I currently have. I'm sure the sword is good and all, but... Mm -mm -mm. Just hit three again, don't make a new one. Okay, fine, I'll do some repairing, Chapman. I'll do some repairing just for you. I have been warned already that I could be repairing stuff. Yo, what's up, Bjorn? How you doing, my friend? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Right. We are now healthy enough to go and attempt to take on this thought. Right. Oh. What is, what is this? Sort yourself out, man. Oh. Oh! Oh, ow! Okay. Well, that was semi-successful. But... Oh, God! Why do, why do they glow purple? Why does everything hurt so much? Okay, guys, we're going to have to go back, make some better armour, and come back for this, because this is... This is disastrous. And I am bad and I should feel bad. I know, I know. Right, we will go up here. Mm -mm -mm. Indeed, indeed. Three buttons, yeah. Her boyfriend came along and he was not happy. He heard what I called her and it wasn't a nice name. And he heard what happened to Eileen. I killed a crocodile on my own. That went fairly well. Took forever, but... It does seem that killing people is a lot harder. Um, I can't help but feel that having some, some gear would help. A weapon that did some damage, heck, a bow that would do some damage would probably be of some use. Right, let's go back to my uh, original base and see what we can build. At the very least, we'll be able to build some new walls. Not the most exciting thing in the world, I grant you, but it's, it's gonna be our base. It's gonna be pretty. Okay, so we need a way to get up this mountain. And I'm not entirely sure the best way to approach this. It's probably not by climbing it. <laughs> so sneaky, much wow. You can stop climbing now, you melon. Okay. Yeah, that's right, random kick. Huh. This is Sparta. So climbing seems to rely on stamina, of which I don't have much. Find signs of intelligent life. Apparently, the people I were whacking, I was whacking, or Eileen didn't count as intelligent life. 
Ah, hello, sir. Are you friendly? Probably not. We've already met him before. He was not friendly. He was a bit of a dick. A bit of a dick indeed. Right. I, I, excuse me, dear sir. Oh, God, for fuck's sake. Are you going to come down here? Okay, if I climb up here, will you follow? Don't mind me. I'm just climbing. Okay. Oh, great, there's two of them. Excellent. Okay. Maybe I can climb up this cliff face. Ooh. Climb, you fool! Can I get stamina back by waiting here, I wonder? No. No would be the answer. Now, I think if when I run out of stamina, I just randomly stand up. Yep. That is indeed a thing. Okay. A little bit of orienteering here with Hydra. <laughs> they want a girlfriend, indeed. I look like Jane. Okay. Was it who was the girl that Oh god for fuck Climb Climb for your worth Oh god <laughs> This is a little stressful Go away Be gone beasts I mock you with a kicking action I am quite well shaven it has to be said My body is a temple A particularly bald temple Okay no stamina, no food either. I need to get to the bedroll, otherwise we're in trouble. Because if I don't get to the bedroll, it won't even recognise that I've got here, and I will respawn at the beach again. Then I'll have to climb all of that again, and it's going to be a little bit embarrassing. Tell you what I would really like. Something to eat. Something to eat to get my sodding health back. Now the problem is going to be finding this old base, because it's round here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, so oh. Really? Really? It's not open. Oh, go away! <laughs> it, it, it can't be up there, can it? Oh, F a duck. Fine. Fine. I will jump down here and fall to my death, because let's face it, that's what's going to happen. Ah. Oh. Okay, let, let's evaluate things. I think my base is here. Which means I need to go up there. Which means I need to do a lot more rock climbing. God fucking damn it. Okay. Eat the girl I chopped up. Do I have anything consumable on me? I don't think I actually do. I've got a crocodile head, but it seems to be non-edible. Okay. Okay, big ruins. Well, we'll just adventure while we're here, I guess. Just have a little snoop around. Okay, something Mayan over there. What we need are some more rabbits. That's just about within my comfort zone right now. <laughs> oh, God, not again. No, come on. Right. You stay there. I'll go up here. Good monkey. Good monkey. Great. Of course, there's more of them. Um, I think I do need to go up here, so this will be my next venture. Rock climbing with Hydra. That is, that is basically this video in a nutshell. A mixture of me crying about why I can't build on a beach and then trying to find my way back to base. I should have really thought more before building this base up in the middle of Narnia or wherever I chose to build it somewhere highly inaccessible let's face it there's probably an easier way to get there than where I'm currently the way I'm currently going uh, yes and going up normally is followed by coming down so after climbing all of this at some point I'm going to be skidding my way back down and cursing oh god yes of course for no adventure. Ah, uh, he's complete. Without a jaguar. 
What's the name of the Jaguar from the uh, Jungle Book? I can't remember. It wasn't Shere Khan. And why can't I remember? Oh god, not... Uh, yes! Two Jaguars and a monkey walk into the bar. I know it's not a real monkey, but... Oh, go away! And why are you glowing blue? Aha! Got some flowers. Okay. Can I stay... Oh, no! Am I alive? Am I dead? Right. I think I'm fairly safe. It's somewhere actually straight ahead of me that my base is. Oh, God. Not down there, surely. Maybe... Maybe we should just wait here for a little bit. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. I've got a cunning plan. Where is that? <laughs> Where's that noise coming from? Back, beast. We're going to set up a bed here. Set up a bed here. Set up a bed here. So at least if I die, I'm going to come back here. That gives me a little... A quite literally a security blanket. Bagheera, that's the one. Bagheera, oh, one of the best characters. Wise and learned Bagheera. Yes, yes, I know you're there. Well done. Giant mountain over there. Now somewhere around here is my base, however. Ah, I kind of thought that would happen. <laughs> We might have to wait for daytime to actually see where I'm going and then have another attempt at this. Yes, I am aware of that, Chapman, which is why I have currently no idea where my previous one is. Right, so I think probably best thing to do is to wait here till daytime because I have no torch and I have no idea where I'm going. But yes, unfortunately, I, having placed a bedroll on a beach, I then lost where my base is. Um, so now I'm on the hunt for my old base. It's purely... Please say that's not a, another cat, or was that me knocking my desk? I believe... I believe if I go in... My body is there, but I think my base is about here. Fairly sure it's about there, so I'm not too far away. I say that. It feels like a long way away. We're going to have to wait, though, because I don't have any torches, so I... I can't do anything. Tell you what we can do, though, is we can check our attributes, which we have none. Now, feet points, I've got quite a few because we're playing a mod at the moment where you get one um, faction benefit. However, I've not chosen mine yet, and it costs 2,500. So that's why I've got all of this crap up here. Um, I could be building, or I could be researching, basically, extra stuff you can do. So, torch bearers, I could make better torches. Um, apothecary, I could make potions and drugs and various concoctions of things and you've got all of these tabs with all the different stuff you can build loads of different armor lots and lots of different armor um, however that is a job for when I am not in the middle of the woods waiting for daylight maybe I can do something with this tree no no would be the answer to that one right nearly there we're halfway through I said tell you what let's start investigating Okay. My body is somewhere here. We zoom in a little bit. There we go. Little bit more. Little bit more. Somewhere here is a body. Great. Is there two of them? Of course. Come, we shall dance the dance of... Oh, fuck it. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do this? Let's move, Hydra says. Okay, I'm going to let you eat me. And we're going to come back in daylight. I can place markers. Okay, that's useful. That's something else I didn't know. Lots of things would be useful to know in this. So we've got one there, one there. So how do we place a marker? Number up, number down. It says nothing about placing a marker. Ah, add marker. So I believe if we go skull... Base, que base, question mark. Done. Okay. And 
Now it's daytime, we're going to quickly give it legs to my body and then leg it to the base. Sadly, you can't see the actual marker here. That, that would actually be useful. Okay, got some bugs. Ah, these bushes actually have stuff in them. All right, I've got a couple of bugs I can eat. Always handy. Right, where is my body? This way. What? Apparently, if I zoom in, it's back there. Is that the most recent body up here? Be gone, beast. I'm looking for a dead body. Have you seen him? Okay, let's look over here then. Dead body... No? Okay, not down there. Is that a dead body? No, that's some rocks. That's a gorilla. Yep. Dead body down there? Nope. We have a quick look here. Nope. Now, there is a slight problem with this game in that quite often when you die... Okay, that's a dead body over there. And I think that's why the grass is glowing green. Right. Dead body, dead body, dead body. Oh, fuck off. Okay, that dead body is empty. Meaning... Where is the other one? I will find it. Now, you can only have three corpses active at any given moment, I believe. Maybe I can climb a tree until these things... leave me alone. Right. Am I safe? It would seem I am. Right, can we see... anyone see a body from up here? <laughs> I am a disastrous mess within this game. Okay. Dead on my left, there is a body. So there's one up there. That is the one I've checked out, and there is nothing there. Now this one... Ah, that, that one is looted. Why does it say that? Death looted. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn around so we're facing the actual body. Okay, that body over there is where we need to go then. I think I'm learning this game. Excuse me, dead body. Okay, another dead body over here. Fuck off. Can I climb this tree then? Excellent. I had no idea you could climb trees, so we're we're actually making making what progress in this game. Now, supposedly there is a body right frickin' here. Can't see one there. Is it in a bush? Flashing me willy. I don't know if he's scared of snakes or not, but I'm uh, I have actually disabled the the willy play on this. Our genital jousting has been disabled because uh, I'd quite like to keep my YouTube channel and I'm fairly sure that they don't really take kindly to it. Oh, bugger off. Yep, that's right. Be gone, thought. Bad kitty cat. Right. So if I zoom in here, it is right there. Can I put a marker on this? If I do that and type it that, there we go. You can't see it on the map. Great. Okay, let's have a run around and see if we can find it. C is release. Body, 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 body. I'll take the plant while I'm here. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Where is the frickin' body? Okay. Looted? Ah! Now, here you go. This is what happens with this game. It tells you where a dead body is, and then it says randomly, Fuck you, the body is over here instead. I lied. Twat. Oh. Okay. Now, it's actually 
underneath me? Is it actually fallen down here? Supposedly there is the body here. We will find you. I will return on my journey. Okay. So what we'll do, we will yeah. release from here. I reckon the body's fallen down. Hey. Now, we're nearly on top of it. Where is the body? Oh, it's down there, isn't it? If this actually showed you where a dead body was, that would have saved 10 minutes of my life. Screw you, game. Screw you very much. I guess I could be thankful that eventually it decided to just randomly tell me that my body was actually somewhere else. I, I guess I can look at the bright side there. Still, though, dick move. Dick moved. Okay, more monkeys, great. But I am aiming to head up towards my base now and continue with my building. The building work must continue. As will the bug eating. Okay. This actually isn't the starting area, Horus, which is why this is, seems a lot more difficult than it should be. I've actually jumped ahead to somewhere uh, that I shouldn't really be, in a nutshell. I should probably not be here. I'm not ready for this. I believe that bit looks familiar. And my building is right down there. Fantastic. I was going to say, that rock formation looks mighty familiar. Haha, -ha, home sweet home. There is no place like home. Right, now we can continue. Now, what do we have that we need to put back on our hotbar? We can put our hatchet over there. We can put an axe over here. We can put some... Ah, we've got bones too. This is good. Where's the water skin? Out of all of these things that I need, the water skin is probably the one of the most important because I was dying of, or nearly dying of thirst. Now, what can we build? In terms of what we need, we need that blacksmith's bench. So let's just have a check over on our smelter over here and take all of these things. Now, what do we need to create a blacksmith? So if we go over here, we type in blick and then we need 50 bricks. That's what we're missing. So we need, I don't know how many I actually need, but we will get some rocks. 600 is probably a little bit excessive, so we'll get some change and we'll set them on fire. And we need... Oh, we're going to make 60. Well, that's probably fine to actually keep that. Okay, let's do some chopping. I suddenly feel like all is well with the world. What I shall do, though, 100% is build another bedroll. Because if I don't... Twine, 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 twine. Is there a better bedroll I can make, actually? Sod it, I'm just going to make enough so I can have a bedroll and die here comfortably and come back to life again. <sighs> All is well. All is well with the world again. I feel like I am I'm in a happy place now. Slightly less stressed. Okay, and that is my spawn point updated. I am learning through the game, even though I am absolutely terrible at it. Uh, we're going to take, wow, two bricks. That's all I've got. Um, right, so how many bricks do I have in total? We've got plenty of iron bars. Actually, it's easier to actually type stuff. 26, Jesus. We're actually going to be here a while, aren't we? Yep. Yes, we are. And it takes ages to make a goddamn brick. That's fine. Um, then we're going to have a blacksmithing place, so then we can do smelting and stuff. And that's going to be useful and things, because with that we can start making some iron um, concoctions, some iron equipment at least, which hopefully will make my life a little bit easier and make me a little bit more combat savvy. That's the plan anyway. That is indeed the plan. And then we shall go on a cat murdering spree. That is the next step in our adventure. We shall unleash our frustration on the world. For too long we have been the prey, the hunted. It's a 
out over in the distance there. Someday he will be mine. Okay. Don't have a lot of food. That's something I need to be wary of. Okay, and we'll probably use the rest of the stone to finish the building and just make it look a little bit more pretty. Because, let's be fair, pretty home, pretty damn important. You've got to impress the lady somehow. And it ain't going to be with my emo haircut. So, what else is going on at the moment? Farming? Uh, you can farm in this. You can plant seeds and do all sorts of stuff there. I'm, I, I'm, I've not got much of a green thumb, so I'm... I have no idea. Absolutely no idea how you do it. Now, indigo. I'm presuming you use that to dye clothes. Indigo, I guess. There's another cat. Is he chasing? No. Okay. And we've got loads of iron ore. Loads of iron ore, so we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's build some housing stuff. Um, ceiling, 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 walls. I think we'll build some walls here. That's probably a good idea. Okay, let's build a... Where are we going to put our walls? Ah, let's build a ceiling, actually. That would be more useful. Ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. Sandstone st ceiling. Oh, we can only craft one. Well, rip. Okay. Well, we're slowly getting there. The base is, is coming along. Yeah, I, th I think we'll have a nice little tidy corner bit here. And... Are we going to have this as a two-story? Yeah, of course we are. It needs to be more impressive. It needs to be bigger. It needs to be ginormous. It needs to compensate for my biceps. Right. Or lack of. Okay, the, the building element of this is fun. Definitely one of my... Uh, aha, right. Let's, uh, let's see. How on earth do you split a stack? Okay. Brick. How many bricks are we up to now? No. Brick. Brick. There we go. 37. Right. So, let's see how you can split a stack. I'm guessing you just click control. Uh, split. There you go. That wasn't so bad. Split. And put them in there. You can carry on going. Excellent, and now we are going to craft a crap ton of stuff. We're going to make another two ceilings, probably three. We're going to make some foundations. And we're going to make some more walls. And some windowed walls as well. Okay, let's do some constructing. Uh, yeah, yeah, go on, we'll, we'll do this, why not? Random hole there that I should probably fill. Hmm. And should we have a window there? That's probably a good idea. Okay, we're going to have that like so. I'm thinking window. Definitely need a window here and there. And... Eight. Nope, don't want that there. Don't want that. Should we complete the edges? Should we complete the edges? So much choice. So much choice. Foundation we do need as well. I would like to have some... Now what are we going to do here? I'd like to have a little bit more organisation. Can I connect it there? I've not quite got the hang of this yet. Ugh. Well, that's definitely one that I do want to have. And one here. Fine, I'll place one there. Okay, it's it's still not pretty, but it's getting there. Hmm. <laughs> what should we build next? I think a pillar? A ramp? I mean, a ramp would be of some use. Not that we need wheelchair access, but... Uh, walls, walls, walls. 
Walls are generally always useful. Let's actually go up there and have a think. What do we need here? Obviously, we'll pad this out with a bedroom and, you know, space to do stuff. Ceilings, that's what we need. More ceilings. Many more ceilings. Uh, we're going to have a... Where, where the hell is the ceiling? It all looks the same. Right, and wow, that's actually our sound of rocks. Okay. Looking pretty good, though. Okay, I lie. It looks like a disaster, but it's my disaster. And we'll have to figure out a way to actually get some stairs up here as well. So we'll need some form of... Uh, some form of thing. And we'll build that up there just so it hides the mystery that could be how deep this building goes. Oh, that's right. It's going to be one hell of a tower. Uh, right. Looking good. Looking good. Need to have some... A little check on items. And we may finally have enough... No, another four bricks. Good lord. Another four bricks. Okay, well, we can, we can do something while we're waiting for bricks. Can I give me tokens? I don't even know what tokens do, Ivan. So... What, what do tokens do? You can maybe give me tokens. Are they going to make me OP, though? Because I don't want to be OP. I'm really happy being terrible at this right now and not having a clue what's going on. I just... I like being... finding everything difficult, you know? That's my, my favourite part about this game is the struggle. So if we press 3 here, we can repair it. Ah, I see. That appears to be more efficient than what I was doing. Fair play. Okay. Mental note, do more of that. Now we'll just gather some more stones while we wait for the final um, bricks. Then we can make our blacksmith bench. Then we'll see if we can make some better stuff, some iron stuff. And we might need to go and kill a load of animals in order to get... Uh, some pelts to then create some more interesting things. It's all very exciting. It's all very, very exciting. Lots to look forward to in life right now as a barbarian. Some tree saplings. Okay. Let's see. First up, if we can make... I feel something needs to happen there. Something needs to happen over here because it just looks too, too, too empty. Oh, hello. I don't know what he wants to do. This is the uh, the host. Oh, I'll put my axe away as a gesture of friendship. Yes, yes, look at you and your levels. Look at me and my arms. Oh. Mm. Can you get me to give me the tokens? I don't know what you mean, Chapman. I have no idea what you mean. Right, take the bricks, and finally we can make a blacksmith's bench. Let's have a look. Black. I'll just wait for Jackman to tell me what he means. Crafting a blacksmith bench, we can maybe stick that inside. Whack. What do you want, Jackman? What do you want? What do we do? What are you trying to get from me? Drop them. Uh, okay. Okay. What does one do with them? What do I do with these? What for? Must talk like caveman. You've got to at least roleplay a little bit. Okay. So now we've got a blacksmith's bench here. Aha! I feel like not enough contact with the ground. There's foundation here. Oh, yeah. God damn it! Okay, we'll, we'll stick it inside. Or maybe we won't. That's... Well, I guess this could be the blacksmithing area. For blacksmithing and things. It's a cramped home, I'll give you that. It, there's and, and the wooden roof right above the fireplace is perhaps not the best thought out thing in the world. But there you go. Now we need some iron bars in order to make an iron broadsword. And that, my friends, is going to hopefully, hopefully, make me become awesome. We shall see. Probably not. 
But we'll get a little bit more iron. And then we need to get some food because I'm nearly dying of starvation again. Okay, I can trade them for stuff once I unlock an NPC. Okay, I'm guessing it's part of being on the server that you get a little bit of um, host charity every now and again. I'll let that slide. Right, now we've done a little bit. Oh, onyx. Random insects from a rock. I see. Okay, so now I think we can actually ditch the brick thing. And we can put some iron in there. Tin? No. Iron stone. There we go. Right, now we're making some iron bars. 17 iron bars. And I think we needed 20 to make an iron broadsword. Not that I'm very good with broadswords. I really do think that agility was a terrible choice. I really do think that it just... Bows in this seem so bad. Every, every bow I've used, every arrow I've got just seems terrible. Okay, crystals. Okay, all sorts of weird stuff we're getting. And I think we're nearly there. Now we'll repair that again. I'm learning. I'm definitely learning. And we're nearly at that point where we need to... Ah, pressing that builds one instantly. Interesting. Okay, we're nearly starving to death as well, so... Maybe we can put a ceiling... I don't feel like that's a particularly great place to put it, in all honesty. We could do a balcony here, but that just seems like a, a, a silly place to, to put something. Right. There we go. There we go. The base is coming along slowly. It's not looking particularly practical right now, though. Overlapping. Oh, God. I'm going to have to do something get janky to make that work, aren't I? That's fine, because if I want to go downstairs, I can just do... No, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, woe with me. Base feng shui. Do not let Hydra be in charge of your interior home design, because he's clearly not very good at it. Look at me. What a disaster. Okay, and the iron bars should be ready. Nearly, we've got 13. Oh no, we don't. We've got 12 iron bars. I'm going to put that in there. We need to put more wood in as well. 26 iron bars. There we go. So let's go back over here. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. We're going to get an iron broadsword. Finally. Hopefully it's going to be good. If it's not, I'm going to be disappointed. Um, an iron hatchet, iron pick. I, they just basically kill, merge, murder stuff quicker. I guess that's probably the best thing to describe it. Okay. And we need to be quick here because I, I ain't going to live much longer without some food. I'm going to briefly make some interior design choices. I need another staircase. Staircase, staircase, staircase. Of course I don't have enough wood. Because I just got rid of all of it. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, better gathering tools equals more resources per hit. Well, that is good to know. So it's actually worth investing in uh, decent tools. I think I'm going to have to kill a cat before way before okay let's let's go kill a cat let's go kill a cat quick and get some food otherwise we're gonna die right off we go just check in the bush as well the insects will sustain me for a few minutes at least they do sort of they take care of a tiny bit of hunger Right, come at me. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to miss. Okay. Oh, be gone. Be gone, beast. So one combination does quite a bit. Swing. 
Oh, he hit me. You do need to actually be careful where you're aiming somewhat. Okay. I'm I'm alive. He's half health. I've taken more damage, but I feel like I'm learning the intricate dance of combat here. Ha! <laughs> he says as he gets murdered. Good lord, this is not as easy as it looks. Granted, I am out of my comfort zone. Well and truly. Well and truly. But thankfully, all is well and I can go over to my body and loot it. Well, it appears Hydra still has some learning to do. Conan the Vegetarian. Indeed, that's probably what I should stick to given my, my combat history. I really am pretty pants. I mean, I, I have killed a couple of those in the past, but investing in a chest and not carrying everything is a good idea. Yeah, that probably is a good idea, you know. What we'll do is we'll chop down a tree and we'll go and make a chest. Okay, the question is, where will we keep our chest? So pillagers do not pillage. Okay, well, we've got some stuff. That should be enough. And now we can probably make our iron broadsword. Okay, look at that. Look at that fireplace go. It's like the mines of Moria, only far more awesome. Um, I feel like stairs going up that way would be a good idea. Can I build some stairs now? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, we can build some stairs. Uh, right, what else do we need to build? Fence foundation? Sandstone fence? We'll come back to a fence later. Now, let's have a look. Do I have a chest? No. So what we need to do is we need to go over to f this, and we need to go to, uh, I believe, a box maker. There you go, we need to unlock a wooden box. So now we can go here, we can go wood. A wooden box, there we go. So a hundred wood for a box, are you shitting me? Good lord. They're not joking, are they? A not comfortable placing a furnace right above there, but it does seem that I, I've probably not given myself a lot of choice. Ah, of course. Right, inside we go. At least it's nice and cosy in here. Right, what do we have? What do we have? Uh, we can go get our iron bars while we're here at least, and we can make ourselves some iron tools. And uh, we can probably take the wood too, but maybe we should leave it there. No, we'll take it with us. No, I changed my mind. Put that there, put the iron ore inside, and off you go. At least we've got some light here as well now. Now, what are we going to wake? An iron broadsword, if we had five branches, would be useful. Um, so if we get some iron bar, we've got 50 iron bars. Damn. Okay, so we need branches. Branch, 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 branch. Okay, split those. 20 branches. And iron. What? Have we, okay, right, right. We're we're there. We're there. Uh, I'm going to make an iron broadsword. Hopefully, we can use that to kill stuff, and an iron pick because it seems that while I would like an iron hatchet, wood is easy to come by. Right. I'm very excited for a new weapon. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely, absolutely. I will get you involved with this, chat man. I will get you involved 120%. But I just want to have a little bash at being bad first. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I just want the ability to suck first. And then I'm going to jump into it full swing and, you know, jump in with friends and get them to show me what exactly I'm doing that's making me so bad. Uh, one thing that I really don't think is helping as I'm specced into accuracy, which just seems like a terrible life choice. Now, let's have a look. 10% extra melee damage when, when over-encumbered. Oh, that's a weird one. 10% less stamina when you grip. 
breath doubles and every blow you strike with a truncheon deals more concussive damage probably useful for concussing people um, and that looks pretty good having specced into accuracy all I can say is it is it does seem to be terrible it does indeed seem to be terrible but I'm going to do this just so uh, sprinting is cheaper there we go now sprinting is cheaper huzzah right the base is getting there as well it's getting there um, I'm not too fond of how it's looking but you know, it, it'll do for now, I think. Right, and that's looking all right. Right, and we got our pick. Pick, 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 pick. Ta-da! Right, a torch in one hand, pick in the other. Our adventurer is armed and ready for trouble. Ah, and as you can see, I'm getting more resources per swing. Probably means I level up quicker as well. So something that's probably worth investing in a lot quicker than I have done. Hmm. Okay. Vitality and grit. A few people have said that. Trailer for this steam is... Yeah, yeah, it does look good. The game does look pretty impressive when you really get going. I mean, I am, I am but a small, humble wildling at the moment that is, quite frankly, a bit of, a, bit of a mess. I'm not particularly well trained, I'm not particularly good at combat. I have no idea what I'm building or where I'm going. I am a scrub and I am pretty new to this game, but that that's part of the charm for me. Right, and I think hopefully that's enough iron ore to actually get cracking and make ourselves some more iron equipment. So much stuff out of this. So much stuff. Right. Destroying all of the rocks everywhere. These will grow back slowly over time. So I'm told, anyway. Okay. 100 wood to make a box. I can't believe that. Should we have a bash at him? Come at me, fiend. Right. That was one combo on him. Swing at me. Right, now you shall taste my blade. Maybe we can kill him. Right, back, fiend. Haha, -ha. I'm getting better at dodging. Uh oh, time to move. Well, the weapon upgrade seems to have helped, although it might just be me being less potato. Okay, one more combo. Might do it. Oh, when you're out of stamina, you can't attack. Mental note. Come on. Nearly got him. Yes, I am victorious. Oh, God. Feline pelt. I'm over-encumbered. Damn. Damn. All I want to do is make it over there. Tell you what we can do, though, is we can actually eat this meat. Get a little bit of life back. And what else can we do? I think we can actually get rid of our stone sword. There we go. And we need to put some stuff in a box. We need to put some stuff in a box. Oh, boy. Roll or dodge. Yeah, roll or dodge is good, but you do seem to run out of stamina very, very quickly. So that's... Um, Something I've, I'm still trying to get the, the swing of, let's say. Right, water skin. Last bit of water. Swig, 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 swig. Now, box. Do we have a box? How much wood do we have? Wood, 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 wood. Do I actually need to type in wood just to find it? Because there is so much actual crap in my bag. Yes, there is. And there is no wood here. Ah. 76 wood here. Any wood here? No. Okay. We just need a little bit more. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves a box. <laughs> of all things, a glorious box to put stuff inside. How very exciting. Honestly, I'm looking forward to playing Martyr again. I, I, I need stuff to do, though. I'm looking forward to playing it in two weeks. Oh, boy, gee whiz. 
Oh boy gee whiz. Seeing the actual final product. Seeing the actual developer build. Oh boy. Right, and I think... Ah, oh, great. Just, can I get some more wood while I'm here? Ow. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 that, that's bad. <laughs> ha, ha. Oh, wrong way, you idiot. Uh, what can we drop? I'll tell you what, let's just dodge towards our house, because that seems to actually work. I'm actually over-encumbered like some form of bad kid. Back, beast. Do not make me fight you. I will do it. Oh, God. Fine. I will crush you. No, I will be crushed instead, because I am over-encumbered and I am bad. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. But yes, if you didn't know Mojo, I'll be on my way to Neocore Studios in a matter or, well, a week and a half, actually. So that's something I'm definitely looking forward to. And I will be playing a lot... Well, I'll be chatting with their developers and playing their final build at a press release, which I'm very looking forward to, very much looking forward to. Very, very curious as to exactly what they're going to have to show us. And, well, only time will tell, Twine. Right, T-W-I-N-E. Let's create ten of these. Okay. And then we'll go back to box. Nearly there. Do I still not have 12? Oh, my word. Okay. One. Two. Let's make a spare one for luck. Box. Please. There we go. Now we shall place a box. This shall be our goodies. There we go. Now we have a box full of stuff. Now, what are we going to put in the box? I guess putting all the ore in to begin with is probably a good idea. Silverstone. In you go, meat. Silver bars. None of this stuff, stuff I have any idea what to do with. Tin coins. I should probably keep those. Maybe I shouldn't. I have no idea what I'm doing. I improvised one of those. That needs to be repaired. Bark. I don't even know what to do with the bark. Bees. I've got 25 bees on me. It's ridiculous. Feline pelt. 220 iron stone. I feel like I should be doing something else with that. So let's go and uh, pop this over here. Put the iron in there and stick it in with some of that. Oh, stick it in with some of those. Press play. Leave that going. And am I not wearing any trousers? What a mess I am. Okay. Make a little bit more space. You can see my encumbrance in the left is still pretty... Well, I'm still pretty damn encumbered. And what else can I get rid of? Sandstone wall? We'll put that there. Get ready to use that. we got some other random crap here that we need to sort of chuck or get rid of. Just loads of random crap, basically, is what you pick up while playing this. Hmm. It's hard to see on stream what I have. Loads of rubbish. Loads and loads of rubbish. Now somewhere, oh, we've got some onyx as well. Somewhere I've got some heads. And I believe you make those into trophies. But, well, I don't really need trophies at the moment. Right. So let's see what we can do with these. Six. Okay. And I've got a random triangle bit. Random triangle bit. Where are we going to put you? Random triangle bit. Shall we put you here? No. Right, number five. Can we go there? No, that's not particularly useful at all. And I think we'll go for... That makes no sense. I'm going to keep this as an area where we can sort of 
Look out for stuff. Let's just build it up. That's going to be the tower. I don't know what of. Don't don't ask. Don't ask what is happening right right now. That's just going to be randomly sticking out there. And there we go. Right. Let's get our sword and go out and actually do some stuff. Right after we try and create some armor. Because I am still absolutely clueless. So we've got feats over here. We need to have a look at weapons. Armor, here we go. Armor, I would like to know how to make some of this crap. So what we don't I don't want epics, I just want to make ordinary armor. Weaver, armor. Okay. Let's see what armor I can already make. Armor. Royal blessed plate. So we've got iron bar, leather, and medium chest padding. So looks like for all of these things I need to make leather and boot padding boot lining so I'm presuming that is something from one of these let's investigate as we look here so we go down to armor find metals no I don't think so armorer right so I already have this but I need to make an armorer's bench um, in order to do this so right right so what do we need for an armorer's bench? We need a shit ton of stuff. Loads of twine and loads of wood. And we've already got the stone. Okay, well we can go and do that then, can't we? Mm -mm -mm. Lots and lots of crafting to be done here. Iron pick. I guess we'll stick the stone pick on as well. Right. Oh, stay away from the kitty cat. Or shall we? Should we kill the kitty cat? For too long we have been plagued by this kitty cat. Let's end him. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Wait for him to swing and miss. Okay. And then repeat cycle. Ha! I'm learning... The intricate art of combat. And it's a little clunky, but it is nice. Okay. One stab and running away I just don't think is worth it for the stamina. Oh, walk back into it, why don't you, Hydra? Okay, now this is getting tense. Come on. Come at me. <gasps> no, you fiend. I, you guys all saw that, right? I killed him first. I killed him first, and as he was dying, he dug his claws into the side of my neck with a mighty meow and crushed me. It was a pretty epic battle, if you ask me. My Meanwhile, my... Fr oh, my, there goes half my health straight away. Who wants health? Meanwhile, my body is quite literally floating around. According to the map. How the hell did that happen? And where is my body? Ah, it is invisible again. Excellent. That is exactly what I wanted. I am such a disaster at this game. But I am enjoying it. Okay, one of those, one of those, and that will do. And I think we can chop him up now. And get some... Oh, maybe we can chop him up with a sword instead. Nope. Need more stone. Ugh. Okay, so we need stone. And then once we've got stone, we can go and chop his body up. Not awkward at all. Right, now we can repair it. Good. Got to watch our encumbrance, because, wow, damn, we can't carry much. Computer hacks confirmed. Okay, so we've got a little bit of meat we can have. Not another one. I can hear him. Okay, got some more flesh. Excellent. And we do need to make ourselves another hatchet of the 
iron variety to get more materials faster, which will help in our quest. Chop, 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 chop. And off to chop some wood. <sighs> so how are you all doing today, guys? You all having a nice day? Happy, chilling, midweek, nearly the weekend day. Eh? I've got a busy weekend. Busy, busy, busy. Got a hell of a pen and paper session planned for Sunday. But Saturday is going to be up in London getting my passport done. So that's something to look forward to. And I'll be doing passport paperwork tonight. All the fun. All the fun. Can't wait. Needs to be done, though. Needs to be done, because if I don't get my passport done, I won't be going to Neocore. So it's a pretty good incentive. Four-day weekend. Oh, I'm so jelly. I am so jelly. To be fair, I had a three-day weekend last weekend, and I didn't really make much of it, you know. And it was glorious. I didn't even play a lot of games. I just didn't do much of anything. It's just one of those weekends where you just watch the time go by. It was pretty nice, though. Okay. Right, up we climb. I think we need to build a staircase here leading up to our area, and we can have some palace gardens here. I had a plan originally of this being a small, modest town, a small, modest area. Sandstone fence foundation. Well, I'm curious what that actually is, so let's look at this sandstone fence. I'd quite like a sort of a, a thigh-high thing. So, so what is this exactly? Fence foundation. Right, it is just bricks. Okay. How about... And we really need a way to get up top from inside as well. So the fence doesn't work like that. Okay. But can I put it here? Excellent. Why can I not place you here? How about if I place you there? No. No fence shall be built here. Okay. Fine. Uh, how about if we put a fence... Do we have to put a foundation down before we can put the fence down? Is it actually that... Is that actually how it works? Because it does not seem to want me to do that. This is not a particularly simple thing, is it? Failed to place building. Maybe the building is just bugged. Right, while we're here... Let's um, stick some more stuff in. That's a Conan bug. You can't place anything. <laughs> Why am I not surprised at all? Right, we've got the wood. We've got the stone. We need a armorer's bench. Right, an armorer's bench. We need 240 stone. We need 160 wood. Okay. I think... We go to here. I've got the stone. Oh boy, do I have the stone. Okay. I don't have enough wood, though, do I? Car? Car? Carpenters. Why can't I build a carpenters? What happened to it now? Ugh. It will rest uh, well, restarting sometimes fixes it, or server restart will kill myself. Well, that is good to know. That is good to know. Armor is bench. That's what I needed. Uh, 160 wood. I'm way short on wood, and I need 20 twine. Okay. Twine, how much can I make? 17. Off we go. Right. Off to get more wood, then, I guess. There's the nearest woods. And we're going to need to build more twine. So with that, we're then going to be able to create us some um, some kit to start working on better armour. Then we're going to be wearing iron stuff. Then I shall be unstoppable. That's the plan anyway. I don't think it's really going to work like that. I've got a few hides and a few bits of leather. So we shall see. We shall see. But it will be Hydra tea time soon. Hydra does get a little bit hungry. 8.17 UK time. Time is marching on. We'll give this another 20 minutes, though. Definitely. 
Right, we've got some of that. We're going to need to top up our water skin in a while as well. All the joy. Okay. Now, how much wood do we have now? Oh, I'm actually three short, aren't I? I'm actually three short. I am terrible. And we're going to need more wood as well. Let's not forget, because we do still need to make um, more iron in order to create more weapons and such. So I shouldn't get too carried away. Let's get some more stone while we're here, because I have plans for that place. And it's going to need a lot of stone. I found a random bee in a rock. Always good. Loads of insects as well. You should always keep that in mind, really. Insects equal health in this. Okay. And I need to do some tree chopping. Hopefully not with a jaguar nearby. There is a jaguar there, so we're going to roll around this way. Right. Chop, 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 chop. Unfortunate that I can't build anything, though. I'm hoping it will make me place the bench down. If not, we're going to have to go let a cat kill me, and then it's just all going to be a bit awkward, isn't it? Right, 212... I think we'll get an. Maybe we'll go up to about 250. Oh, feck it, you might as well just farm more. Go until you're over encumbered and then go back. That, that's probably the better way to do it, just farm properly. I can remove my bracelet. What does that do? I don't even know I had a bracelet. Okay, back we go. And have I actually lost track of where my base is? I think I actually have, but I'm fairly sure it's up that way. Oh my god, I'm bad. Yes, it's over this way. Survival lessons with Hydra. First, first lesson, do not follow Hydra because he's clueless. Oh, it kills me. Okay. Remove your bracelet and you die. Well, we'll give that a go if we can't build anything, because if we can't build stuff, that's just going to suck. And... Oh, a corpse. I'll tell you what we can do while we've got a corpse here. Don't mind me. Just getting some... Uh, just getting some human flesh. Right. Now it is time to create... An armourer's bench, but we need twine. Twine, we're going to make... Heck it, another eight twine. Groovy, groovy, groovy. Let's rock. I'm excited for my armourer's bench. Right, craft. That's actually going to take a while. Okay, and while we're here, we'll step here and we will... Um, Bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. How do you take a bracelet off, Ivan, if there's no bracelet on your inventory? That is an interesting one. But I'm nearly um, I'm nearly dying of thirst, so that will kill me anyway. That's something to look forward to. Right, let's put that up here. I've gained a... I've randomly gained a level. Okay. Armourer's bench, armourer's bench. Ah. Commit suicide. Yes. Blech. And someone's going to have to clean up that body. Thank you very much. What does the bracelet do then? Is it a, a magic bracelet? A magic bracelet that keeps you alive? Okay. Equip, 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 equip. Have one of these. And have a sword. Have an awesome iron pick. A water skin, some bugs, some feral flesh, and where, oh, where is the armorer's bench? Right. Now, where can we fit this? Now, I believe we can rotate it. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, um, I can actually fit it. In the corner, kind of, a little bit. No. 
There we go. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. It's not the it's not particularly organized, but hey, it's mine. So, thick leather is what we need to make. So the question is, how do we make thick leather? Cuz we need some we need some armor. Um so we've got heavy pauldrons, heavy helmets, leather iron bar, heavy helmets, heavy boot lining, heavy chest padding, so we need just thick leather. So how do we make thick leather? Not here apparently. Okay. So I'm guessing thick leather may be something you don't craft, you actually find. In which case I may have Ah, here we go. Light helmet padding, hides and twine. And I don't think I have many hides. I have three bloody hides. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. Guys, I am going to call it a day there. We're going to have a little chill out. I'm going to get some food. I'm going to have a little mess around on the game afterwards and just have some fun building some stuff. Try and make the base look a little bit more pretty. And I will probably see you in a couple of days with another episode. So I hope you've enjoyed. Feel free to come join in the Discord if you've not already joined it. And if you've got any questions you want me to ask the developers, I'll be doing a video next week gathering questions to do a interview with the developers with. So start thinking about it now now take care guys have yourself a great week okay all the best